Now to Capitol Hill, where the Republican deadlock in the House drags on. After six failed votes, the majority party has not been able to elect a speaker. Right now, the members are in a break until 8 o'clock this evening. The frontrunner, Kevin McCarthy, keeps coming up short of the 218 votes he needs to win the leadership job that he has campaigned for for so long. On this second day of this political drama, the Republicans who are not backing McCarthy have been getting behind a second-term congressman from southwest Florida. News for Jack reporter Scott Johnson has been following the proceedings since they started yesterday and is joining us now with an update. Scott? Tom, uh, since this whole process started, Kevin McCarthy has seemed to lose ground slightly in his push to be Speaker. And now many are wondering if the divided Republican Party and which one, which side will blink first? But they want us divided. They want us to fight each other. That much has been made clear by the popcorn and blankets and alcohol that is coming over there. The House is not in order. Northeast Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamek taking a jab at House Democrats as their party is in the middle of an intra-party fight and can't elect a speaker. Following six votes, Kevin McCarthy still hasn't secured enough votes to be speaker. Second-term Congressman Byron Donalds was nominated as the alternative by the group of around 20 Republicans who want someone other than McCarthy. And I believe that Byron Donalds is the man to lead us to that path of getting America on track and uniting the Republican Party. Democrats are watching this unfold as they continue to unanimously support their pick in New York Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, who likely can't get the majority. But now that there have been so many ballots with no resolution, questions are swirling about whether Republicans will start moving away from McCarthy and rally around another pick. Can Kevin McCarthy pull this off? Or do, if there are too many more votes like this, does he start to see it slip away? The conventional wisdom is, was that he was going to have a difficult time, but he was going to be speaker. That conventional wisdom is now out the window. News for Jack's political analyst Rick Mullaney says something like this hasn't happened in the House of Representatives in well over 100 years, meaning in the modern era, this is unprecedented. Mullaney suspects it would be on McCarthy to make the decision to withdraw if he feels he can't get the majority. Do average Americans care about this? I don't think average Americans follow the nuances of the first ballot, the second ballot, or the third ballot, but they do see that this is a self-inflicted wound for the Republican Party. They do see that this is a challenge for them governing. Locally so far, all the members of Congress from Northeast Florida and Southeast Georgia have supported McCarthy. That includes new Congressman Aaron Bean, who had planned to go up to Washington and be sworn in. He tweeted this two days ago, less than 24 hours until I'm officially sworn in. However, that can't happen until there's a speaker. So it's unclear when he and other new representatives will be sworn in. So there have been a lot of theories about who could eventually be elected speaker. Here are some theories. So one Republican is make a deal with Democrats and Hakeem Jeffries is elected. Then there's a rule that you don't even have to be in the House of Representatives. Some have speculated it could be someone like Donald Trump or Liz Cheney. Mulaney says that's highly unlikely and he suspects another Republican will come forward. I also want to point out I heard from uh, John Rutherford this afternoon, Congressman from Jacksonville. He says he supports McCarthy. Mary, back to you.